Entrepreneur Revolution, we talk about the value creation cycle. A lot of people come up with ideas and they want to make money off those ideas rapidly. And a lot of people, especially in startups who haven't had a business before, don't realize just what's required to commercialize an idea. So we created the value creation cycle. And it basically says that when you come up with an idea, the very next stage after an idea actually sends you backwards. You put time, energy, effort, and sometimes money into acting upon that idea. So as soon as you have an idea and you act upon it, you go backwards. And I call this phase the mess. And that is you go out and create some sort of a mess based upon your idea as you're experimenting and trying to put something together. Eventually, you get enough of what's in your head out into the real world and you can go and show some people and I call this a beta version. So a beta version of what you do is enough for people to understand what it is that you're trying to achieve. It gives them an example. Um, they might be able to get it for free in order to explore it, but it's probably not something that's ready to be sold. When it's ready to be sold, this is where you can start making some money, and we call this the commercial version. So the commercial version is where suddenly your business makes wages. So here you've been making losses, here you've been learning, here's where you can make some wages. So you know that you have a commercial version of your product or a commercial version of your business if you're making some wages. Um, now this is where a lot of people get discouraged. They put in all of this energy to get over here only to make the wages that they used to be earning in a job and then they get very frustrated. What has to happen next is we need to push through to the next phase and the next phase is where all the money is and that's where you create something that's remarkable. And remarkable just means that people have to tell their friends about it. They're talking about it, they're excited about it. You don't have to spend that money on marketing or sales so much simply because people are so um, excited and they're loving what it is that you do that they want to tell other people about it. That's where you make profit. So in order to build a remarkable business, it takes as much energy to go from here to here as it did to get all the way through these phases. We have to put a lot more energy. Once we get a business that's making wages, we've got to push again and again to make that business completely remarkable. We need to go through and find out where does the customer touch this business? Where does everyone get involved in this business? And can we make that stage of the business even more remarkable? Remarkable brochures, remarkable websites, remarkable um, sales processes, remarkable service, all of those things have to become remarkable. When you can take a business from commercial to remarkable, you go from having wages to profit.